All right guys, this is Budget Tech Dad here. Today we're gonna to do another mining video and this one is gonna be around the currently popular Chiat network. Uh, this just launched about a month ago and it's, it's on the news right now saying that this might deplete the supply or increase the cost of hard drives and SSDs. So I wanted to cover it because I'll be, I'm gonna be mining Chia as well. Um, to start off mining Chia, you could go to Chia.net and you're going to click here, not here. This will go take you to GitHub. This will just give you the download, right? I'm going to install it. So this is the sign on screen. So you don't have a wallet unless you already have one. You can import one, but you don't have wallets. So you just create new private key, right? And then it says to back it up, don't lose your key, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah, don't, this is the same thing as any wallet. It's gonna give you those uh, C phrases. Uh, make sure you write down a piece of paper, we'll keep it safe, and don't give that out to anyone. So you hit next. This part's gonna take a little bit. Uh, when I set it up, it took a while to load, uh, maybe like two or three minutes. All right, so that took about two or three minutes. Uh, you're going to get this error message, so you could just hit OK. And then this is your your phrase, right? So I'm just showing this as an example. Uh, make sure you keep yours safe. Like I said, it's best to write it down on a piece of paper and keep that safe somewhere. So then hit Next. So the previous screen um, before uh, after the phrases took a little bit to load. I think it took me about three minutes, so don't be alarmed if it just keep doing the circly loading uh, animation. To farm, you need to start plotting um, your hard drive space or your SSD space. And plotting is just to make it simple. It's like it's you're you're technically printing out a lot of like lottery tickets, right? And then when your number is drawn, that's when you earn the block. So when you plot, you're just printing a whole bunch of lottery tickets onto your uh, hard drive space and that's how you farm uh, Chia. So you hit add plot. So default is this 101.4 gigabytes and that's what uh, if you go onto the website it will explain that this is the best uh, plot size um, to use so you don't have to worry about these other ones. Uh, but minimum you need to have 240 gigabytes on your SSD. So just make sure you have 240 gigabytes on your SSD or hard drive first before you start plotting this 101. Um, uh, if you know, you could start out with one plot and then add more. You could do like, I guess 10 plots and just add plot to the queue. So it'll queue up. Once it finish one plot, it will go to the next one. You could also do is you could do a parallel. So if, you, if your system can handle parallel then um, you can do parallel. So if you have 480 gigs of free space, you could do two plots, right? And let's say you have like a processor that has more than, I would say maybe four threads. You could dedicate four threads to this and maybe increase the RAM to 8,000. And I'll get into that a little bit later about my setup. Um, so let's just do one here and then add to queue. And then you just hit, leave all these as default. So this was like 4,000, this is two threads. And you won't touch any of these, just leave that alone. Um, select temporary directory. This is where you save the temporary plotted files. So then this will copy into this final directory. So you select, um, this will be your operating system SSD where you have the 240 gigabytes free space. And then you choose what, you want to like your external HDD goes right because the the speed of the plotting really depends on your plotting SSD which is you know it should be technically NVMe SSD because those are the fastest um, but I'll explain my setup and let you know what I think might be the fastest so after that and that's it you hit create plot and you're good to go a few things I ran into is when you start farming and you're, you're your plots are listed here, you will get something that's a syncing, right? So I'm gonna show you a screenshot. 
when I was plotting, this is syncing. So when this is syncing, it just means it was syncing, it's still syncing with the network. So if you go to the full node here, the network, see, it's still syncing. This process took to get full sync, because this number keep going up, and this number keep going as you sync, but it took me about 15 hours, 16 hours to sync the entire network. You're still farming. After you finish plotting, you're still farming, but it won't give you like a estimated time to win, like here. Uh, it went while you're sinking. It also leads to how much do you make, right? When I first plotted my first 300, I was getting 10 months to time to win, which means 10 months to solve like one block to get to get rewards, right? So that's obviously forever. Um, and then when I plot the next 300, it was giving me um, five months. So it's proportionate. So you double your plot size, and then you have the time. So let's let's talk about my setup and what I thought might be the best SSD for uh, plotting uh, for Chia. So I have a Samsung S, uh, Samsung 970 Pro, one terabyte, and I thought this might be the best because this particular SSD has the best sustainable read and write. So you're constantly writing and reading to, on this SSD. So you want something that can handle sustainable read and write and for hours. Like for me to plot three at a, in parallel, it's, it takes me about, it takes me about seven hours. So, um, your SSD is working for reading and writing for some hours. So I figured this will be the best since it has MLC NAND. Most most NVMe SSDs have TLC or QLC NAND. So I thought this might be great for plotting. However, like when I'm plotting and I was watching the activity once in a while, like these numbers, if you look here, like they don't go um, above 500 megabytes like that often like it will peak a few few times here but it doesn't it doesn't go above that so the speed is not really important so there were some videos were recommending like a gen 4 nvme ssd i'm not sure if that's the way to go um and i'm not even sure if this 970 pro is the way to go either uh, i think what i want to try next would be like 860 pro from samsung so that's mlc as well and that should have really good sustainable speeds and and it will let me plot more in parallel and i'm saying that because this one terabyte um after like installing windows and a whole bunch of other stuff on my workstation i have about like 800 uh, gigabytes left so that 800 i could only plot three at a time because i need a minimum of 240 for each plot so that's gonna so i could only do a maximum of three plots but if i get something like an 860 pro that's like two terabyte i could go to like maybe eight plots at a time and then get a processor like in 3900 x ryzen right and dedicate like maybe 24 uh, threads to that that should let me plot more and i'm curious to see how much time it takes to plot like eight at a time so that's what i might, I might try next and see what happens doing all these writing on your ssd your ssd is, doesn't last forever it's there's a there's a there's a lifespan on it and it's measured by uh terabytes written right tbw so let's let's address that. So when I first did the first three plots, it it wrote on my 970 Pro 4,111 gigabytes, right? So, and that's for three plots. So if I if I do buy one plot, it's about 1.4 terabytes per plot, and this it's very similar the second time around. Um, about 4,000 gigabytes and it comes down to about 1.4 terabytes per plot so that's that's a lot of um, TBW used so that's what you got to watch out for so you do want something that is high in TBW so you don't burn out so you, so you don't burn out your SSD 
Um, other than that, I'm curious to see what other setups you guys have. If you have any questions, let me know. Thank you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.